everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and I am literally so excited to show you everything that's been done in the Lego city over the last few weeks, especially the forest area way in the back there. We've been working so much in this area, including the addition of three brand new mills plates with some Lord of the Rings, food trucks, a dog park. It looks really cool. But also this is the first Lego city update. After our room renovation, as you can see on the walls, there's a bunch of panels. We've got black curtains under the city. I think it looks really good, but please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. But then as always, if you're brand new to this channel and you enjoy Lego City content, vlogs, or live streams, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate it. All right. Now let's take a look. So as I said earlier, this is the first Lego City update after the room renovation. So let me show you what all is different. We added these black curtains along the bottom of the tables to help dampen the sound in here, but also hide away all of the different Lego sets and just extra things that I don't really want to be shown all the time. We essentially put everything that used to be in this corner down underneath the tables and hid it away. So that's really nice to have this extra room here. We might actually buy some more storage and organization to fill up this space, but we will see, stay tuned. The other thing Thing that we decided to try was adding these different sound panels along the room and I think it really helps to dampen the sound in here. When filming it was very echoey and you might even notice based on where I'm filming this video that it's a little bit better sound quality than other places. We hung up all of the different sound panels and made these cool designs to hopefully help with the sound and echoing in here. There's less focus on what's under the city. The black really draws your eyes to all of the pretty colors and awesome sets on the tables. Personally I really like these changes but let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Anyways, let me give you a quick overview of everything going on in our Lego city, then I'll talk about what's changed. The first thing you see when you enter the room is the downtown area of our Lego City Ladybird. We named it after our dog Ladybird and we just thought Ladybird was a really cute name. Therefore, we changed the top of the Daily Bugle to match the name of the city. I thought that was a fun little detail. But anyways, we have two separate city blocks going on here and a bunch of different vehicles and minifigures scattered throughout. And not too long ago, we added a second corner garage to the end here. I'm still not thrilled with how this looks. I think I need to mirror some things and just make it look like it's not just two different sets right next to each other and that'll involve changing up the roof a bit because right now it's a direct mirror of the other building and I want that to change. I want it to look a little bit more natural and then back here we have a bunch more modulars but check out this sidewalk. We've made our own pattern here and we still need to extend it to the end like the other ones that you see here with all these different squares. This is definitely next on our list but we just haven't had time and I think we need to make another brick link order before continuing with this. And then as you can see along the road plates we've had a lot of fun customizing these. We've added this parking spot to the side that I'm really a fan of. It's something super realistic that any city has, right? You need street parking. So it's really cool to have a mini version of that in our Lego city. But then something really cool over here in the sidewalk is the subway. Now I'm really proud of this build. I think that's something really cool to have in our city. And we use the different lettered dots from the Lego dots collection. I love that they have them now. It actually makes for really cool charm bracelets. But anyways, we do use the mill system in our city. Along the side of our city, everything is elevated. And because the city is elevated, it enabled us to make the subway because we can go down into the Lego. Whereas if you're making a Lego city just on base plates, this would not be possible. So now let's shift gears and move over to the ocean and foresty area in the Lego city. So this whole area here is going to become an ocean. Right now it's still just base plates because we have to start somewhere, but I am really excited to keep working on this and add all of our fun little watery themes sets like Spongebob, Scooby, even some friends over here. I think that'll be really cool. But then moving back just a little bit to the forest area and the river. I'm not going to spend too much time kind of doing an overview on this part because I will be focusing on this later in the video, but I am really proud of how this area is coming along. Moving on to the middle of the Lego city from where we just were, this is kind of the area that's in limbo constantly. It's where I'm putting the sets that I want to place somewhere eventually, or maybe sets that aren't done yet, but they definitely should be because it's way past October. As well as the friends apartments over here, because at some point I am going to combine this with some of the other sets that I have into the sitcom tower. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hopefully that actually happens. And if you've personally built a sitcom tower, please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. I'm really excited about it. But then finally, this is the Disney World area and it's still very much under construction. As you can see, there's just a lot of everything going on here. But something really exciting that is starting to take place here are some mocks. I have started modifying and mocking some different builds for Main Street, so definitely stay tuned for that. I really can't wait to show you. I am so excited about them. 
And then in the front, finally, we have our Mario World. I love how this is coming along. We've been playing around with motors to get some motion going on in this area, especially with the piranha plant. We actually got it to go up and down, which is really exciting. So stay tuned for another video about Mario World. Maybe once I get some more progress done, maybe once I finish the desert area, I'll make a full length video just about what's going on here. And then something maybe not as exciting, but still something to bring up here are the railroad tracks. I've started adding these brown tiles to the tracks and I do want to do a full on ballasting at some point, but I thought this just looked very Disney-esque, especially with the train there and the Disney castle. I feel like this is such a good look for it. However, getting those one by one tiles straight is a challenge. All right, so that's the gist of what's going on in here. I really hope you guys are liking what it's looking like so far, but now let's focus on what has changed. We're gonna head back to the forest. I've spent so much time on this area in the Lego city, so hopefully you guys can see a difference. But anyways, let's start at the end here. This is the Hobbit hole. Most of you guys will probably recognize this. It's on a mills plate and we have modified it. You can see the landscaping's a bit different. And then along the back, we've added some extra plates and the backing to it to just finish it off a little bit. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine and my husband's to have sets without a backing. So we do try to change that when we can. This was a white whale set for Ross for the longest time. So it's nice to finally have it in our collection. Plus I feel like it goes really well with the foresty area right in front of the Ewok village there. So, I mean, we're just trying to blend fandoms and just make our own forest creation. And I think it's turning out really well. And then right next to Hobbit Hole, we have a park food court kind of area on another mills plate. I actually built this on stream the other day on Twitch. So definitely come check me out over there for more Lego city builds, mocks and all that kind of stuff. And for this being one of my first Lego city mocks, I am really proud of it. I love the new wave of Lego friends. And that's where I got these two separate builds from. We have a smoothie stand over here with a carrot on top and then some Asian street food. I just love having those in the back there so that all the different park patrons can walk up to it, get some food, and then sit down at the park bench next to the balloons, the banners. There's just a lot going on here and I'm really proud of it. We also did our best to make good use of the new squirrel molds. I just really like those. I think they're so cute. And we also put some on top of the trees to the left. We also included a bunch of cats in the middle there, just because why not? I don't know, there's always a lot of cats hanging around food. And then right next to the street food market, we have a dog park, but it's kind of buried in there, kind of far. So let me grab it out so we can take a better look. There we go. Let's set it down over here. All right, this works perfectly. This is so much easier to see. So here is the dog park. I've been working so hard on this. And even since the start of having a Lego city, I really wanted to have a dog park. So along the front here, the tile pattern is very similar to what was done in other parts of the Lego city. That makes it just blend a little bit better. It's not just going from downtown urban into greenery. Like it's still kind of a park entrance. It kind of blends better. And then of course you'll see scattered throughout just tons of dogs and an elephant, cause why not? We definitely weren't selective on which dogs can and can't be in the dog park or shouldn't be. We also had fun adding some extra squirrels in there as well as a little kitten hiding up in the tree. Though to be fair, it doesn't seem very smart for the cat to be hanging out with all these different dogs, but we just won't think about that. And then of course, because every dog park I've ever been in has tons of trees, we had to make sure that this one did too. So we have this nice tree build back here and it says Elvendale down there. I love elves, so that's like a perfect sticker to include. And then this tree as well. We have some more squirrels up there, some acorns. It just fit in very perfectly having this kind of squared end to it. So this is where I decided to put it. I took these from other old friends sets, I believe, or maybe Lego city sets. And then while we're on the topic of Lego friends, that's exactly where I got this gazebo. It came in one of the friends sets. I believe it was a park. I'll show a picture on screen, but I loved the gazebo. I thought that was really cool. And something I didn't realize about the gazebo before I bought it and built it was that as you turn the top part here, the dogs go in a circle. So it's kind of like a fun game for the dogs at the park. And then you might've noticed this bulldog on top of the kite, which I know doesn't make any sense. I just thought it was kind of funny. It's like a little skateboard for him to ride around on. Why not? So yeah, that's the current state of the dog park in the Lego city. I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially for being one of my first ever Lego city mocks, working on landscaping and trying to make it look natural while also just having a good time with it, including all these different elements that make me happy. Having all the different dogs and animals in here is just really fun. Plus that gazebo functionality is just such an interesting different thing. So I'm really proud of it, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If there's any improvements I can make, please let me know your thoughts below. Also, 
I feel like this is a great demonstration on why the mill system comes in so handy. You can just take out all the different mills plates, mess with them, modify them, and put them right back. It's so nice. So now let's switch gears to this area and what's coming next. So these base plates are blue just by coincidence. We had a bunch of blue ones, so we laid these down first as a foundation for more mills plates. We're gonna be continuing these road systems going along through here because we do have quite a few modulars on the back of the second city block and just having it dropping off to water or sidewalk doesn't really make sense. Plus I feel like the road plates would end abruptly if we just stopped them here. So we're gonna continue them along behind the second city block. So stay tuned for that. But something I have been thinking about for a while is that if I do make these into roads, then I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough room for all of the different modulars because we're already kind of out of room for the downtown area. And I'm thinking we might need to push the forest back a little bit to make more room for the downtown area and all of the modulars. But let me know down in the comments what you think about that or if you have any suggestions or quick fixes for that. And now moving behind the newest additions of the Lego City to the forest. As you can see over here we have the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion with a huge pumpkin patch. This was what we made in October and I was going to take it down but I kind of like it. It's kind of spooky and fun. Plus we just have a ton of pumpkins so it's really nice to put them to use. And then looking at the river we haven't really updated anything in a while but it's because I think this area is pretty much done. I really like how it's looking but definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to improve upon this. Essentially what the plan is is to have it lead into an ocean with the beach kind of along this area here but that's quite a while away and I'm a little intimidated to get started. Overall, that's pretty much everything that's been happening in the Lego City room. We've been working really hard, especially on this forest area, and I can't wait to keep going. It has been so much fun adding our own personal touches to the Lego City, especially the dog park. I just love that there's finally a good use for all of these friend sets that I have. I really enjoy building them, but the backs are often open, so it makes it really difficult to work with. Over the last few days, we've worked really hard on this room, and I'm really happy with where things are coming along. It's nice to see that the downtown area is pretty much done. The forest is our main focus at this point, but then also Disney World, the Walk of Fame, and Main Street. I have been working really hard on some mocks for this area, so stay tuned for another city update or maybe just a mock update coming soon because things are starting to look really good. Well, that just about wraps it up, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, please leave me a comment down below with any thoughts, ideas, feedback you have. I would love to hear from you. You guys are so helpful all the time. Thank you everybody once again for watching and I will see you next time.